Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? It's David. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. It is 10 p.m. tonight and I wanted to do an extended um, uh, nighttime routine with you guys. I'm going to be doing a couple of things actually. First and foremost, I did wash my face. I did take my makeup. Well, I didn't have makeup per se. I just had eye makeup on. That's it. And uh, my um, eyebrow tint. But I did wash my face um, with this Neutrogena Original Formula um, Dermatology Recommended Bar Soap. And it came with one extra free. So it has its this size it's pretty good size actually um i really like this it, the only thing i don't like about this it is drying a little bit so you have to follow up with a moisturizer and the moisturizer i usually follow up right after i wash my face like once my face dries after my that i usually follow one up with the neutrogena oil free moisturizer this is for sensitive skin you just need just a few pumps and put it all over and let it dry and that's that's how I was doing it for uh, for the past three weeks now um, last night I started to implement a couple of more things and um, today I'm just going to do a peel off mask uh, because I think my face needs it it's the end of the week and there is a wedding I need to go to tomorrow um, so I think I'm gonna do one of these two I think I'm going to do the stress, anti-stress sea salt face mask. Um, or I might do the brightening cucumber peel off face mask. I'm not sure. I might just do both actually. I might do this one and then do this one. I actually bought them both from Dollar Tree. So we shall see how this works. I have not used these yet. So these will be um, first time using and my natural reaction to to them how I feel about it is be raw and organic. So without further ado, let's get to it. And thank you for watching again. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and put down below if you ever use any of these products. I know maybe two of them you're not gonna have because I'm making them and but the rest are able to, to be purchased. Um, and then the ones I'm making I will be um, selling them coming soon, uh, probably like beginning of the year once I formulate it and get it perfectly the way I want it. I will be selling them and I will let you guys know about that when that comes up. So I think I'm going to start with the, my hands are freshly clean, actually my face, I did wash it with that, um, with the Neutrogena so it's freshly clean and I think I'm going to do with the, it's called Free Men Anti Stress Sea Salt Mud Face Mask. It's the basic formula and it has 1.5 fluid ounces. And for the instructions, apply mask to face and neck. I'm not going to do my neck. Um, avoid contact with eyes. Leave on 10 15 minutes or until dry. Rinse with warm water. Use twice a week as needed, as often needed. Um, and then it has instructions. I think it's in French. So we shall see. So it is. Uh, let me make sure this all comes. Yeah, this all. Okay. So I'm going to go with the anti stress one. So. Oops. All my perfumes are shaking. The more I shake it. When I first, it is like a greenish color, but you guys, it looks like bluish to, to you guys. But it's, I want to look over here because that's where my, it smells pretty nice. It doesn't say the consistency to put it on. It just says apply. So let's 
pretty blue color. It says to avoid your eyes or like any other mask. Hopefully this would not not gonna break me out. Cause I have worked really hard to get most of this acne off my face and hopefully that this is not gonna just replace this acne on my face. It's very cooling. That's what I like. It's drying pretty quickly. And I know I'm gonna definitely need it on my nose because my nose, the pores on my nose are like really gigantic right now. And if this actually does work nicely, um, I'm going to get some more of these. There's some like hit and miss things from Dollar Tree. Of course, just like any place you go get something that's cheaper, there's hit, hit and, and miss things from it. I'm not going to expect it to be like, you know... The Holy Grail. Oh. But one, it is a pretty color. It is a very pretty color. I'm going to add just a little bit more on my forehead because I think I have more on everywhere else. Everywhere else is thicker than my, than my forehead. It is a cute color mask. That I will, I will say it's a very cute color mask. And it is drying very quickly. I'm just going to take my cucumber extract makeup wipe just to wipe off my fingers. And it is, like I said, it is drying very quickly. And plus my room is pretty, pretty warm right now. So let me take this off. And then I will be back when it's fully dry and start to show you guys what it looks like. And I'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes, but it will seem like a second to you guys. Hey guys, I am back. I can barely move my face. I need to blink my eyes and just move my mouth just like this. I can't move anymore, so I am actually very impressed with the outcome so far. So I'm gonna wash my face, like I said, with warm water. And then, um, it's supposed to be an anti-stress. So, I mean, I don't feel any different, but I don't know if it's like anti-stress for your face. I don't know about that, but I will be back once this is all washed off. And then we are going to use the brightening wax mask afterwards. So I will be right back. Alrighty, I am back. So it cleans off very easily. Very, very easily. Like the minute you put water on it, it just literally just like melts off. So that's pretty nice. Um, my face does feels um, not tight. Or anything like that it doesn't feel weird or anything it feels very clean um I don't know, it just it feels a little different but in a good way at the same time it feels tight a little bit so I don't know like like I feel puffy not like puffy like in a swollen way it's just it feels like 
um, when I got my Botox injections. Alright, so now we're going to try the brightening mask. And I wonder if it's going to do anything for under my under eye or the high pigmentation. But I do have my oils I will be using for that. But let's see. This is a peel off. Okay, this is completely clear. Oh, it smells good. It does smell like... Oh, it is. She is thick, honey. So you gotta be careful with under the eye. She is very thick, very glossy. Definitely not. Don't get this on your eye. This is very, very, very thick. This is clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this oh, hair on this. Uh, for my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face. It's gonna take me some time because it's very thick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put it all on. Now I'm just waiting for it to dry and the consistency kind of reminds me of might be showing my age, telling my age. I don't know if they still have it or not, but the really long, like this long tube of clear glue when we were in kids just a really long tube it looks like a big pen but it's a big and fat like that and it was clear glue that kind of reminds me of that i don't know why um it's very cooling very very cooling um and it feels really nice so i'm just going to go ahead and now kind of dry and let that do what it does and then when it dries out um i'll be back so it's the same amount of time 10 to 15 minutes so it just looks like i'm just so glossy and be careful do not get onto your hair because it will snag your hair out and so i'll see you guys in about 15 minutes so it'll be there so i can do you guys within this time just go ahead and press that like and subscribe button okay Okay, I am back. I can't talk yet again. This one is a lot more tighter than the other. But I did stretch my neck when I did that. It kind of, you know, started out for me. So that is great. I'm glad I was able to cover the marks. I didn't get a chance to cover right here. But that's all right. One second. I'm so tight and so itchy right now. It is crazy. Um, Alright. Okay, I'm going to start feeling this. I know this thing's going to hurt every time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. This always bothers me so much. I'm actually gonna... Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get, okay, because I want to do two things at the same time.
All right, so I'm taking my face mask off. And again, I would use the cucumber brightening. I'm doing two videos at the same time. This gun. Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt so far. Yay. Oh, actually, feels so good. Oh my god, this feels so good. You guys gotta try this. It feels really nice. It's not like that charcoal mask. Oh, it feels so good. That feels really great. Oh, I broke it. I was trying not to break it. Oh, that felt so amazing. Let's see. My nose. I don't think much of anything came out of my nose. That feels nice. Oh, it looks so crazy. Oh. That feels great. That feels really nice. Then wash my face and do the other stuff. Feels good. It feels great. It feels really great. But I'm going to go ahead and wash my face real quick and right back to finish up the remaining that's taking me about two hours to do not two hours but like it's been 30 but 45 mm, about 45 minutes so four um but it's been 17 minutes on here so i'll be right back okay i'm back and actually my face feels really 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 nice like it's really it feels it just feels great it really does it really does so um since you know this these do have chemicals in them guess it so i went ahead and just used just a little bit of the neutrogena face wash just a little bit just sucked in my face and just, just did like one quick emulsion on my face and rinse it off with warm water and let the water get pretty cold and then um, splash cold water on my face about a couple of times so that it could close down the pores. So that part is done. Now the part that I'm going to do is actually before I put any lotion or anything like that, I am actually going to tone my face. And I'm using actually witch hazel. Witch hazel. Oh, all this part. I'm going to use this little circle cotton pad that I got from actually I got this yeah from Dollar Tree and this has 80 so it's gonna last you a while just a little bit on that a little goes a long way and this I'm just gonna rub it around my face I'm also mixing making sure like I get the under eye because it's always puffy and not to forget under my chin with this area but I do recommend um, I do recommend both I really recommend both as the way they feel for the first day but I will use them all up and then um, I'll see exactly how they do I mean I'm not expecting like huge <gasps> hurrah from actually 
I did see this on the Alta website. It is from the same company, but this one is the Tea Tree Peel Off Gel Mask. Is from the same company. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it says Freeman, and this is company name is Freeman. So it's the same company, just looks different design. I think this is just the older version. I, I'm guessing, but I'm definitely gonna go buy buy some more. And the one also are four twenty nine, and these are dollars, so I can get four of these for the price of one of that but this one is how many fluid ounces this is six fluid ounces and this is 1.5 fluid ounces so it's up to you but i really loved 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 the cucumber one it's very very cooling especially if you put this on and then fan yourself it's very 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 cooling um i really like that and then I did like this. So this was cooling also. It dried very quickly. No regrets or anything like that for both of them. So um, now I did the witch hazel. I'm just waiting for the top part to dry all the way. Okay. Witch hazel is done. Now I want to go follow up with my Neutrogena um, oil-free moisture sensitive skin. This is four fluid ounces. I got this from Giant Eagle. And this was about, this was like 12 or $13. And uh, yeah, 12 or $13. So I'm just going to pump it on my hand. You can use this morning and night. So that's what I've been doing for the past three weeks. I've been using morning and night under my hand. I mean, not under my hand, on my hand. Just enough, how much ever you think enough is for your face. And then, and then through all throughout your face, I put it under my eye. Actually, I put it over my eye, my nose, all over, and also my under my chin. I'm making trying to make a habit of pushing pulling up instead of dragging down okay so when that part is done now I go ahead and implement the oils I made for myself so I have one more oil to put on um, which is also a spot treatment and um, to even tone my skin and also something for my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So first I'm gonna use my oils that I used. This has vitamin E and some other, like three other oils in it. Has no fragrance at all, unless you smell the vitamin. Yeah, it just smell is the vitamin E. It doesn't really have a smell to it anyway. Um, I don't wanna show the ingredients. I, this is just mine. So this is not like, it is not professionally together or anything like that I want to make sure it works first before I try to sell it or tell you exactly what's in it because I make these myself and this has 100% vitamin E oil so just take a little bit actually a little goes a long way so just like a drop or two okay that should be I think that should be enough and Make sure I put it under my eyes because, like I said, it's a, a spot treat, a spot treatment, and also helps with brightening your skin. And whatever's left on my hand, I'll just put it on the edge, edges part of my hair, I mean the my oh my hair right here because it is, has vitamin E and vitamin E is really good for your hair. Oh, perfect. Now I'm gonna put 
this is in this oil also has vitamin E and two or two or four other oils in here and this is for my eyebrows and my eyelashes like I said I make these myself and I have a little wand actually I had a Dollar Tree mascara I did not like so I took the this part out and washed it very well actually I washed it first with my makeup remover washed it washed it washed it soaked it in there washed it really well and then put some witch hazel on it and then I spray some an uh, antiseptic ointment um spray I like um um not uh not antiseptic um alcohol so to disinfect it. So I'm just gonna. A little goes a long way. So whatever is on the lid is what I put on. Like this is how much I have, and then that's gonna last a very long time. So a little goes a long way. And then I just actually that's not enough on there. Is that that's gonna be enough on here? It won't go on. Okay. Alright. I just dipped just at the tip and I'm letting it work all the way down. I'm not going I mean I have to go to sleep soon, but I'm not going right right to sleep. Alright, it is saturated, so now I just brush it up and then I brush it back to make sure everything is coated and then brush it back. Same thing with this side. And I brush it back. So I want all the hairs to be and plus this is actually like kind of like when you when you're Brushing it back, you're actually exfoliating the the roots of the hair, your eyebrows. So that's good. Okay. Alrighty. Now. No, I'm gonna have to. Just a little bit. Same thing with the with the mascara. You know how you go down and wiggle from the from the root and go up. But this, the, to grow your under eyelashes, it does take a little bit longer. Than if you used like an expensive product, but I'm not willing to use an expensive product. Like, plus, I don't know what's in it and I don't want it to put this so close to my eye. And I'm actually like closing my eyes lightly and going sideways like this on without having to scratch my eyelid, of course. Okay, now let's go back and do this one more time. Okay. That's more than enough. Then I put it back in my little bag. Just 
only that and the mixer. That's the only thing that goes in there because I want to keep that as clean as possible. And then close it back up. And then I'm just going to disperse the the remaining I have. Maybe I have a bit too much under my eye because, like I said, this is a high pigmentation um, treatment. While I'm at it, I just give myself a little bit of under eye massage. And That's <laughs> but like my eye, I think I put a little too much on this side. All right, next is put some coconut on my lip. And voila, comb my hair one more time. I have my hair um, scarfed downstairs. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of this also. This is everything on here. I can go on my hair. I can go anywhere on my skin. I just put three drops. Mix it up just on on the. I don't want to put too much. Okay. So my hair gets its natural oils, but the only thing I have been using on my hair is vitamin E oil. And I actually will show you which vitamin E is not pure a pure vitamin E oil, but um that's what I have been using, and I just twist my hair in a bun. When I get downstairs, I will put a scarf on. But this is what I've been using. I get this from, uh, this is the Vital Care, I guess, from the, um, not Dollar Tree, from, uh, Big lots. But yeah, this is all my routine that I do for my skin. And then I, sorry, my nose is itchy. And then I use this Essence of East Africa. This is my own personal bottle, so that's why it looks this jagged at, jaggy. But this is Essence of East Africa, it's my own brand. My own brand. I just never said that word before, my own brand. Um, all organic. I use that to put on my ashy hands and elbows and knees and feet. And that is that. It's very extensive, very long, but um pop on my lip. Um, so, but this is extensively what I do for myself past, well, besides the oils, um, these two, besides these two and the mask, the mask is the first day today, but besides these two, the Neutrogena face wash and face cream, I have been using that for three weeks and it's definitely working. Um, towards the end of the day, my blemishes are a little bit darker. I think it's because of the oils of my skin. Um, but that is how that is. I can't help it. Um, 
uh, but hopefully this the spot treatment um, and also the this treatment right here will definitely because I want my eyebrows to be like thick and dark so hopefully that will help it but um other than that that's all I have for you guys today please make sure you go ahead and like this um, page um, this video I mean make sure you like subscribe hit that bell button hit that bell notification bell button and um, hit that notification bell button so you won't miss the next upload I do and it might just be either tomorrow um, or might be on Sunday tomorrow to have a wedding to go to um, I wasn't going to go but I am going to go um, and or Sunday I don't know if you celebrate sweetest day tomorrow sweetest day so give your sweetie a hug and a kiss and make sure you tell them that you love them every single day it could be your pet it could be your cat your dog your stuffed animal, your mom, your dad, your kids, your friends, your loved ones, your friends, your co-workers, whoever it is, um, show them love because hatred is spreading like wildfire. Wildfire. Um, hatred spreads faster than love does. Love takes so long to spread, but it's so easy to hate someone. So it's so easy to get on the bag wet bandwagon and be like yeah I don't like her I don't like him this is and that but it is it is harder to be nice and sweet and be genuinely yourself instead of having to follow a group a friend or somebody that they're doing something or jumping because they did something or jumping on that wagon because somebody started something no be true to yourself it took a long time to to realize that someone is like, I'm going to change your attitude. And I'm like, you know what? I'm okay. Because I love me. Period. I'm going to do what's right for me. What makes me happy. If XYZ doesn't like it, too damn bad. Because at the end of the day, I had to put my my shoes, my feet in my own shoes, sleep in my own bed that I, lay, that I made. And I have to be comfortable with the decisions that I make for myself. And me and my husband coming together and making a decision for our family. We have to be okay with that too. So, with that being said, I'm not going to do something because John Slavinsky, hopefully that's nobody's name that I know, but let's say John Doe says, hey, let's go to Paris next week because we're off the week. Oh, you go to Paris, boo it's not right for me I'm not going you know what I mean like that's an extensive extensive um thing to say but that's what I'm trying to say is be true to yourself and to nobody else do things that's going to make you happy and make you you want to make make you proud of yourself at the end of the day what's right within God's eyes that's all but anyways Thank you for listening to me. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and talk to you guys in the next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.